And I think that we've washed down like the definition of good versus evil and we've turned into like subjective um, truth and subjective moralism. Like people use that phrase, oh, you're good, live your own truth. And I hate that phrase. I do not like the phrase live, <laughs> live your, own. your own truth. Like I just keep hearing that. What does that. it even mean? It's like, it's like as long as you're living in your little space of knowledge and worldview and then you're good to go. But that's so false because that's how evil takes over. If everyone's living in their own silos, of course, evil evil's going to take that opportunity to inject itself mm. into the situation mm. and spread like wildfire. And yeah. the fact that you want to promote live your own truth, like I just. Well, it's like ugh. imagine like a bunch of a bunch of solo bricks all yeah. laid yeah. out mm, that's good analogy. and not in an actual brick wall yeah. obviously a brick wall is gonna fight out um any like threat from the outside than just a bunch of different solo bricks that are yeah. all their own truth yeah like that's not resistance yeah um but i do think that there is a, a there's some sort of line between like i, I mean i believe in objective truth and yeah. i believe in morality objective morality but i also want everybody to express themselves differently and i am yeah. i am like I'd say more flexible or libertarian in the sense yeah. that I want people to like have the freedom. I mean, that's we have free will, free will for a reason. Yeah, the whole so the whole point of free will and freedom is to travel, journey through life, exploring, experiencing, testing things out, and hopefully through your life experience, you land at objective truth. Like mm -hmm. that's my viewpoint. Is that like objective truth exists whether you choose to acknowledge it or not, and then you have to go through life and you have to live through it and learn from it like there's this expression god has no grandchildren and it means that like you can't just copy and paste even like a belief system on someone like it has to be it can't be transferred like that it has to be transferred through your own lived experience that personal libertarian freedom mm. so i totally agree with you on that like yeah. you can't have like objective truth where we just all are zombies and follow things it has to be this kind Completely of agree. balanced experience um, and I think that that's actually where where real wisdom can develop is when you're having those real experiences and you're not just like regurgitating mm -hmm. and and you are absorbing all these perspectives and through trial and error figuring out what your beliefs are solidifying them as you keep going about life and then that's where the wisdom is like um really created yeah